Hello and welcome to another day in the life of a data science consultant. Um, hi, that's me. I've been trying to get up earlier and it works about, I don't know, half of the time. So this is one of the rare times where I actually got up at like 5.30 and got myself ready to go to the gym and actually went to the gym sometimes. I get ready and put on my gym clothes and then I just sit there with my coffee and just can't bring myself to go. But this time I went. Then I got showered and got ready and even put on a cute outfit even though I'm not leaving the house, I'm working from home today. <laughs> I can't tell you exactly what is going to happen today, but I can tell you that we are in the beginning stages of a data science consulting project and we are still currently waiting for our data but we did already get a bit of sample data, so we have been working around that. All right, here I am. It's 9 a.m., about to start my work day. And I think one of my first tasks has to be following up with everyone. Um, yesterday was a holiday here, and so on Monday, a lot of people had the day off, except for me. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. But me and one coworker actually finished up a script and sent it to the client. So I am waiting to hear back from them, but I don't know when they will get back to me. But I also have to reach out to the other people on my team and see where they're at and like just check in, I think. I think that has to be my first task, which is not my favorite task in the morning because I hate mornings. You might not be able to tell because I got up at 5 a.m., but that was the extent of me being a morning person. I'm done now. I'm so tired. I want to go back to bed. And I do not want to talk to people before 12, but it is what it is. All right. Oh, is there something on my screen? I think not. It's time for lunch break. It's 12 o'clock now and that means it's the very difficult time where I need to try not to fall asleep because I'm so tired. And I'm like about to sit down on the couch and I have no idea if that is a very bad idea, but we'll find out. So while I was still trying to message everyone and like check in, my manager actually ended up calling me so we chatted for a bit about everything that went down on monday and about like contacting the client again and stuff like that so that was nice i actually talked to someone before 12 a.m but it was fine 12 p.m anyways in our project we're getting help from someone who actually works at another department in our company so not in the machine learning department and we got tasked with providing him with some resources on how to best get into machine learning just on the quick like <laughs> we have to get him up and running in like i don't know a few days weeks i don't know um so he knows a lot of python and he knows like data and sql and pandas and all of that but not so much machine learning so it's been very interesting trying to think about okay which topics does a beginner in machine learning need to learn or like need to know to like help on a project um, when they already know how to code and all of that. So I've been doing a little bit of research on which courses to recommend and if any of you are wondering I would definitely recommend the Coursera machine learning specialization by uh, Andrew Eng. Ng? I don't know how to say his name I'm so sorry um, but yeah you probably all know this specialization it has some really solid foundations, I think. Sadly, if you do the free version, you don't get any code. So that is unfortunate because you do know, need to know how to code. But I personally think understanding what's happening is way more important because the code, if you use scikit-learn or something, ends up being only 10 lines anyways. But then you have to deal with what comes out of your model and how to work with it. So. I think understanding a bit of what goes on behind the scenes is very important. But now, next to not trying to fall asleep, I also need to figure out what to eat for lunch. I think our fridge is still very empty. I did have a few of the leftovers from yesterday already while I was working, so I guess I don't have to eat like a huge lunch. Just need to eat something to not fall asleep. As you can see it's the next morning and 
Vlogging a day in the life is incredibly hard because you think, oh, like, it's just a normal day, I'm gonna work on the project. But then evening comes around and you suddenly have to deal with personal issues. So yeah, here's a clip of us ordering dinner last night because none of us wanted to cook. And then the rest was just, I don't know, calling different people and figuring things out. Next morning today I didn't get up at 5 a.m. So that's how you know that yesterday was a bit of an outlier. Um, I do try though, but yeah, given how yesterday went down, I didn't really feel like getting up early today. I just wanted to have a sleep in a bit. So yeah, showered, ready for the next day. Um, I hope the vlog gave you still an overview of all the things that it can mean to be a data scientist. Um, yesterday and the current stage is just a lot of research, trying to figure out how to get the data from the client, to get everything set up and sort of uh, in terms of working procedures, how we best work together within the team and also with the client. And yeah, not all of it is cleaning data or running models. In fact, a lot goes towards the administrative part and doing the preparation for the work, especially if you're in a small team. So yeah, that was my day in the life. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.